Okay, today we'll be assembling a version 2 gearbox. The first thing you should probably assemble is the cylinder here and the cylinder head, which goes here. Next, take the air nozzle and put it on the end of this. Next, take the tappet plate and put it on the end of or the yeah, end of the air nozzle. Now you can put the cylinder assembly inside your gun by simply pressing down. Okay, next you can take your piston and put it in the cylinder. Okay, next we'll be putting in the gears. The first gear you should probably put in is the spur gear, which goes over here. Next, you want to put in your sector gear, this gear, which goes right here. Lastly, you want to put in your bevel gear, which is this gear, and that goes right here. Okay, now you should probably put in, oh wait, yeah, the anti-reversal latch. There's a little spring in it that keeps it compressed onto the bevel gear so yeah should probably take this off put it in this little hole and put the bevel gear back on like so now, sometimes the anti-reversal latch will want to jump out so I'm probably going to put some grease on it to make it stand in a bit. Okay, next you want to put in your trigger and trigger spring. The trigger spring and this is the trigger. You take the trigger, okay, sorry, take the trigger, take the spring, put the spring inside this, and put the arm of the spring to a little hole. On the side here. Now you have that, and turn it around. I'll hold this so that um, the spring doesn't fall out. Ow. Okay. Um. Now simply snap it in, and it should stay. Sometimes this will um, fall out too. So yeah. Next. Take the tappet plate spring and install it like so. There. Now take your spring and spring guide. And I have a screwdriver in the end of the spring guide. Uh, take your spring, uh, find the coil, more coiled end, which is this end right here, and put it on the spring guide. The most coiled end should be um, touching the spring guide, and the less coiled ends, uh, end should be touching the piston. Now you can install this into your gearbox. On stiffer springs, this will be more difficult. Like so. Now take your upper half of the gearbox, or other side of the gearbox, and slide on there. Take a pick. And just punch inside the holes to make these line up.
there. And now just tighten the screws. Now that your gearbox is complete, uh, test if this air nozzle can be pushed back and forth. If it can, that's good. Now you can assemble this back into your gun. Now that you have your gun together again, it's time to test fire. Uh, this is using a 9.6 volt, uh, 2100 milliamp hour battery. Uh, thank you for watching.